everybody. We're playing Elden Ring. I'm gonna head back to Lake Facing Cliffs. I'm gonna go and see Thops. Now that we've picked up the uh, Academy Glintstone Key. This is one of the quest items we can give back to Thops. friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. Oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering. The Academy cast repelling seals on the East Gate, leading to the capital, and the South Gate, leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active, making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer, with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. Okay, let's ask about the glintstone key. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the academy, and you'll never reach the Erdtree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a bluntstone. Nearly a hint of talent for sorcery, but still, my place is at the academy. Okay, let's give him the key. Are you certain you're willing to give your glintstone key to me? My, oh my. Thank you. Thank you dearly. Now I can go back to the academy to resume my study of glintstone sorceries. And the very stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be too thankful, mate. <laughs> Back to learn another. Why, of course. You've All right, taken ask about Selen. With Selen. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Selen was expelled from the Academy. Accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. Alright. Thanks, Slops. So now we want to go back to the Academy, now that we've progressed his storyline. Let's head back to the classroom. And if we hop outside, we'll see that Thops has teleported here. Ah, oh, Thops, mate. He's dead. You can pick up the ball bearing and the glintstone stuff. And Thops's barrier. But yeah, that's where uh, Thops's story ends. We move on to the debate parlor. Can I head back up the ramp past the uh, ball bearing? Throw the ball bearing. You can 
see here there's a portal, that portal will take you to the uh, Church of Vows. I'll come back for that. trash so we can open this door here from the other side to hop down here and across and open up this door So these are the enemies that are dropping the ball. So we'll take these guys out. there on the left. Yep, let's pick it up. Glintstone Scarab. I'm not sure if you can jump on that roof. See the ball has stopped. All right, let's go through the portal. Church of Vows. And here we meet the turtle, Muriel. You are tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? I don't know. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses. The Earth Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. 
I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction, in which case I will share all that I know. Alright, so we can give him scrolls here. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Oh, what have we here? Oh, what have we yep, here? Yep, he just keeps repeating the same dialogue. So look at his sorceries. Glenstone shard. Comet shard. Star shower. Magic glint blade. Carrying great sword. Carrion Slicer and Glint Blade Phalanx. Incantations. Got the Blessings Boon. Grants blessing to self and nearby allies. So that'll be very useful if you're a spellcaster. Do you possess any celestial dew? Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Concerning the miracle of this Church of Vows, Radigan once cleansed himself with Celestial Dew, repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Renala. The Order of the Erdry and the fate of the Moon were conjoined, and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the Church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond, however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. Alright. So we're going to move back to Caleb now. Going to head back to see Gary. We obtained the unalloyed gold needle from Commander O'Neill. So we can take it back here. Right, so I'll head back to Hut of Aeonia. And we can head east from here. Kill the monstrous dog again. Oh, you found the unalloyed gold needle. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here. Go on. It's yours. Celia's secret? Now let me have a look at the needle. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan. A meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? Alright. So 
So at this point we need to teleport away and then come back to him and that'll progress him to the next step. Smithing stone four, that's nice. A union butterfly. Just gonna run past the bugs. Okay, kill the monstrous dog. Let's talk to Gary. I have awaited your return. The needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. Alright, so we've got the unalloyed gold needle. At the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, the town yonder. Tended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Do you find it peculiar that I would show such concern for the girl? Well, I'm the one that found her. A mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. She is one of my dear daughters. But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> Now, all you need do is deliver the needle to Millicent. She's convalescing in the church atop the cliff just beyond Celia. Do so, and you shall receive a handsome recompense, of course. All right. So let's head up to the top of the map. Let's go to Kalem Ruins, and then we can run across the top to the right and go and visit Millicent. Heading east. done a run through this area before in a much earlier episode. Picked up these sites of grace already. Here is where we picked up the uh, map fragment before. There's a couple of dragons here that had some loot below them. up the hill. I'm gonna head up to the uh, the burning wall.
already killed the old grey dragon. Alright, so this big white blob here, I'm going to jump down on the left side. Down the spirit jump. Heading for that church. Just going to take out some of the trash first. These guys are resurrects, so you have to double tap them. Okay. Some loot over here. Starlight shots. Okay, I'll pick up the side of grass and I'll talk to Millicent. writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. Give the unalloyed needle. I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot. But how? <laughs> Never mind. I've decided I would rather trust you than simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? <sighs> well, that was easier than expected. But, but why do I feel So let's just leave her for a moment. I'll pick up all the uh, plants and loot around here. Sacramental buds. the uh, side of grass. Let's move to morning. Gonna fix up my flask as well. Okay, Millicent stood up. I hoped to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this by way of thanks. A token though it is. Prothesis wearer heirloom. I'm considering leaving. On a journey. With the needle buried in my flesh, I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. 
I pray fate permits us meet again. And that's it, guys, for today.